am so frustrated. Oh, everything is a mess. What am I gonna do? Oh, hi. What the hell happened in here? I know, I was just feeling the same way. I am so frustrated, it's a mess. I can't seem to keep up with it all. Well, I, th I thought we cleaned this whole place last week. How did it get so messy again? I don't know. Things just get out of control really fast. Well, I think, I think we need to figure out what's going on and why we can't keep this house clean. Well, it's not just the downstairs. The upstairs is a wreck. Every single room, the bedrooms, the bathroom, the kitchen, the living room. I'm just completely overwhelmed. Well, I'm feeling overwhelmed too, and I'm tired at the end of the day, and there are no clean dishes for me to cook. Well, there's no place to cook. There's no place to sit. There's almost no place to go to the bathroom. We've got to fix this once and for all. Well, I think we should just start with one room at a time. That sounds like a plan. We'll take care of one room at a time, and we'll go through the whole house. How does that sound, sweetness? Mmm, that mm, sounds great. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with this bag of trash, and I'm gonna drag it outside. Okay, you Whoops, do that. I just oh. spilled some. Well, we'll get that later. Let's get the big stuff out now. Okay. Oh, you almost knocked over the chair there oh, too. Okay, well, at least we got started. Hi, everybody. Hey, everyone. So we are here today, slightly distracted by our dog who wants to go for a walk. It's raining outside, but I think he's he's off. He's gone up in the other room, so we should be safe. Okay, so I, I think he's resolved the fact that we're not getting out of these chairs until we say what we're going to say, there which is, have you ever noticed that when you're trying to simplify and declutter in your life that all of a sudden life gets busy and things go off the rails and everything falls apart and the next thing you know you've got a messy house again so we over the course of the past few weeks for those of you who've been following know this but others don't uh, have been decluttering and simplifying our life and i actually received this neat little gift from my husband at christmas and that's Christmas me. last year, so that was uh, uh, eight months ago. That's right. So, and I see it every day. It's on the stairs when I come down. So, anyway, we uh, we did that, but we are having to kind of take a look at what isn't working. So, I have to admit, I felt great to walk downstairs and to see everything clean and simple. It made, it made my life simple. And I'm now convinced that a cluttered house is a cluttered mind. I would totally agree with that. And what I found is that because we'd gotten everything to a point of simplicity, it was so much easier to clean up. So for a while, we were maintaining things. And when everything has a place, you know where to put it. Right, we would come in and just do a sweep. That's what it was, just a quick sweep and things were clean. And we were back to normal. But then something went haywire. We're not quite sure what happened. We went away for a couple of days to ironically help my mother-in-law declutter and simplify her life. And we came back and things just kind of fell apart. We had a huge mess in the kitchen. There was stuff on the dining room table. There was just clutter everywhere and it seemed to have sprung out of nowhere. So we need to figure out what, what went wrong and how to fix it. So stay with us while we figure out what went wrong and we're going to come up with five, three to five tips that you can use to help you not run into the problem that we had. So one of the things that's happening due to COVID-19 is that we're buying in more bulk. And what's happened is, is now our pantry is absolutely full. 
And now that it's full, we don't have a place for everything. So we've got to start thinking about where we're going to put the extra stuff that we're buying in case we go into a lockdown again this fall. So do you think that we're going to find additional room in the pantry or do we need to find additional space for the extra stuff we're storing? I think that there's some things that we can go through and probably put somewhere else or get rid of and then also maybe get some or utilize some larger bulk containers for things so that we're um, using our space better. I also think we can have a shelf in there, but we can't do that today. Okay, can you show me? I don't think sure. there's room for a shelf. Sure. Okay. That's so, a full pantry. Yeah, and this is an ugly potato. This we can get rid of. This doesn't need to be in there. Well, that's that goes to composting, which is a whole nother uh, issue. <laughs> okay, so a couple of quick things that I'm seeing right now yes. that would help with organization is this top shelf has some half empty bags of chips. Some of them may even be stale. So we need to go through those and check them out. And then the dog's basket probably doesn't need to be there because we no longer have the need for all that space for him. I found another place that I put his toys. Okay. So that will utilize space. And then, I don't know, I was thinking maybe if we put a shelf in here, but we, you know, we'll have to think about that. Um, and then some of these other products in here, I think we can find bigger, bulkier, or big, bigger, bulkier, bigger containers for bulk, and that will help to save space. So I, I just had a quick glance. I think there's some things that we could do. Okay, so I have this gross, gnarly potato and it didn't belong in the pantry that's for sure so we have a compost bin and we do compost and so i'm going to put that in the compost bin which kind of grosses me out because it gets full and smelly so we need a solution and i think i found one so this is a home composting handbook that I've had for a long time. And not until recently did I discover, I probably forgot, but there is a container in here that would be perfect for our solution. And it's right here, right here on this page and I'll zoom in and it is a compost bin that's much larger than ours and it sits right on the side of the cabinet door inside. The other issue that we had when everything got really super cluttered was that we had a ton of pots and pans left from a dinner that we had had the night before and I think we were just way too tired and never got around to cleaning up the kitchen. So we had started to implement a system where each night one person cooks, one person cleans up, and one person does the pots and pans, and then we rotate that during the week. However, for some reason that, that didn't seem to be working out as consistently as we hoped, and when things went awry, it was because the system literally fell apart. My oh my, how everything seems so much more peaceful and tranquil now that we've simplified and gotten our house in order. Oh I know, I feel so peaceful and I feel like we have so much more time for things. Like we have this trivial pursuit game sitting here on the coffee table, would you like to play? You know what, now that I'm not so flustered and stressed, I was wondering if you might want to smooch. Oh, here that I, sounds nice. Here I come. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're, you're pushing me off the couch. Um, oh, you're going to knock things over. Mm -hmm. Watch out. Oh, I'll be careful. Mm -hmm. So, as promised, here are the five, we, we did get five, five takeaways from our slipping back and in losing our simplicity and how we got it back and how these things 
can help you get it back when you start to slide. Definitely, highly recommend these. Catch things as soon as you see they're getting out of hand. Number two, you need to have family buy-in. Number three, identify those items that don't have a place and find a place for them, a permanent home. Number four, don't blame yourself and don't blame others when things get out of hand. Number five, remember the goal is to simplify. Right, simple should be easy. If it's complex to maintain, then it's not simple. There you go. That's simple. If you like what we're doing, please hit the subscribe button. If you would like to get notifications in your browser of when we post new things, hit that little bell right next to the subscribe button. Ting, ting. Ting, ting. And then we would love for you to watch another video or maybe watch one of our playlists, please learn some more about simplifying, watch some of our hikes, and come back to see our next videos. And share your comments with us. Oh, please. Maybe you have great ideas and we want to hear about them. Right, maybe you could have given us some advice on how some other techniques that you use to uh, help simplify your life. That's right. Hey, you mind a little privacy here?